Welcome back. In today's lesson, we're going to be looking at finding the length of a side when the prime numeral is on the bottom. Let's look at another side. We're going to solve equations with fractions where the prime numeral is on the bottom. So this time in our trigonometric equations, we're going to find that our prime numerals, our x's, are going to end up as part of the denominator. Here's a simple example without using trig, just 4 equals 12 over x. Now, same as last time, to eliminate a denominator, or an over, or a divided by, we multiply both sides by that term. So we're going to multiply both sides by x. That gives us 4x equals 12x over x. The x's on the right-hand side cancel out, leaving us with 4x equals 12. If we divide both sides by 4, x equals 12 over 4, which then x equals 3. Now, I've left the 12 over 4 there because it looks a lot like the first line. We can see that the x and the 4 have changed positions, and this is an easier way to solve an equation where the perennial is on the bottom. All we do is we switch the x and the 4. So if we have a look at that in action, 4 equals 12 over x, switch the 4 and the x, and we end up with x equals 12 over 4, which is 3. So we have the same answer. The steps that we're going to take today in finding a side are very similar to the steps that we took in the last lesson, where we found the length of a side with the perennial on top. We're still going to scribble out the side with no information written on it. We're still going to label the sides, hypotenuse, op opposite and adjacent, same as we've been doing. And we're going to examine these sides and see which pair of sides that we have. So the hypotenuse is not the side we're interested in, so we're interested in opposite and adjacent. We're going to choose sine, cos or tan from Sokotoa, and hopefully we can see that's tan. We're going to substitute all of our known values. So theta is 50 degrees, opposite is 17, and adjacent is x. So there we go. Now we're going to solve this equation, and we're going to do it by switching, same as we did in the previous slide. We're going to switch the x and the tan 50, and that should give us x equals 17 over tan 50. And you need to be careful when you type that in the calculator. If you don't close the brackets on the 50 degrees on the denominator, your calculator will give an error. But if you have done it correctly, you should get 14.26 to two decimal places. Let's look at two examples. Example one. Start by scribbling off the side with no information and labeling. So the hypotenuse is the longest side. In front of the angle is opposite. Between the angle and the right angle is adjacent. We can eliminate adjacent in this case, leaving us with opposite and hypotenuse from Sokotoa gives sine. We replace the information that we know. We know that theta is 37 degrees, we know the opposite is 21, and we know the hypotenuse is x. So sine 37 degrees equals 21 over x. Now the x is on the bottom on the denominator, so we're going to switch the sine 37 degrees and the x in order to be able to solve this equation. Now when you're typing this in the calculator, don't forget to close your bracket, just like the snowman says, and x equals 34.89 centimetres, correct, two decimal places. Example two, whoa, oh, poor snowman, got scared. Start again by scribbling off the side with no information on it. Label the sides, the hypotenuse is the longest, in front of the angle is the opposite, between the angle and the right angle is adjacent. Now we can eliminate opposite in this case, leaving us with adjacent and hypotenuse, which from Sokotoa is cos. And then we're going to replace all of our information in that equation, and we're going to get cos 25 degrees 28 minutes equals 11.3 over x. And again, x is on the denominator, and so we're going to switch cos 25 degrees 28 and x in order to be able to calculate it. The snowman's come back. He's tough. Okay, don't forget to close your brackets. And... Typing that in the calculator should give you 12.52 millimetres, correct to two decimal places. Okay, take a moment to copy that down. Today's lesson, we are now able to solve any of these trig equations, whether the letter be on the top or letter on the bottom. So we're able to find any side in a right angle triangle now, given enough information.